Let's implement all of the changes we made in ccfactory.m into CC View Controller so that our viewers will be able to now see it inside of their iPhone applications. To start with, let's go ahead and update our button's title. So what would be a really good place to do this? Well, we have a method called update tile, which is responsible for taking all the information stored in our tile model object and updating our view. So let's go ahead and we're actually going to use, call, use a method call. So we're going to use our bracket notation and we can say self.action button set title and we're going to use our tile model. So we're going to say tile model dot action button name and we have to use this control state here. Well, if I do UI control state, we see that there's a bunch of different control states available to us. So we have uh, disabled, highlighted, normal. We're going to use normal now. But if I used, for example, highlighted or selected, if I was holding down, I could set different names for different control states. So I could have a different title for normal versus highlighted. But we're just going to do normal for now. And that'll allow us to change our button's title dynamically. Next, we're going to have to create a method that when we press the action button, some sort of uh, change will occur. So maybe there will be a health effect that takes place or my user will gain a new weapon or a different set of armor. So let's go ahead and we'll go to the bottom here and this is where we're writing all of our helper methods. And this method won't return anything so we can use void and we'll say update character stats for armor and we can pass it an armor object here so we can say cc armor and we'll say armor with weapons and we can pass a weapon and object in here and we'll give it a variable name weapon uh, with health effect so I can say this is going to be an int and I can say health effect and I can add my curly braces and what this will allow me to do is my tile object will may have an armor or a weapon or a health effect. So we'll just pass in all three of them and if it happens to have one of those we'll make a change to our character's current properties. So let's go ahead inside our method and define the implementation of this method. So we'll say if my armor does not equal nil which means that I passed in a valid uh, armor object we can say self.character dot health is equal to self dot character health minus self dot character dot armor dot health plus armor dot health and what's going on here is we're saying that our character's health should reflect its current health minus its current armor and then we add our new armor's health. So we're going to remove the old armor and we're going to add the new armor. After we've done this, we should update our current character's armor. So we can say self.character.armor is equal to armor. Next, let's go down and add an else if. And we can say if weapon does not equal nil or I have passed in a valid weapon, we can say self.character.damage is equal to self.character.damage minus self.character.weapon.damage plus weapon.damage. So here we're saying that my current character's damage is equal to my current character's damage minus my current character's weapon and I'm going to add the new weapon damage back. So then we can update our character's weapon to this new weapon that we'll be adding in place of the old weapon. We can also add an else if for our health effect. So we can say else if health effect does not equal zero. And notice I'm using nil for my objects because nil means that my object doesn't exist. But since health effect is an int, we're going to say it's not zero. And we can say self.character.health is equal to self.character.health plus our health effect. Finally, let's add an else here. 
And the reason we're going to add an else is for our initial setup, we're not going to be passing in um, any of these armors or weapons as a result of an action change, but our character did start off with these initial values, right? We set that up in CC Factory, and earlier when we ran our application, we saw that these effects weren't being taken into account uh, on our view. So we're going to fix that problem now. We're going to say self.character.health is equal to self.character.health plus self.character.armor.health. And we should also update our character's damage right now. And we can say self.character.damage plus self.character.weapon.damage. So now we'll have, if we call this method and we pass a nil for everything, we'll still be able to update our character's initial health and initial damage based on the initial weapons and armor we set up for our character.